my friends, how you all doing? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a fresh episode of the Hall of Famer. Yes, this is our FM22 series that we have been ploughing through since, I don't know, November or whenever it was when it came out. But my friends, last episode is linked above for you right now. Feel free to go and check that one out before cracking on with today. Today is a momentous day though where the series is concerned. I'm going to say no more, let's do this. Right, I'm going to start the transfers, but it's not a transfer for now. It's a transfer for the um, January transfer window. Um, Letha Madau, or Madu, I'm not sure how we're saying that second name. He's a 17-year-old striker, and he joins us in January. And I think he looks ridiculous. He's got three caps and a goal for South Africa at 17. And uh, yeah, we've signed him for next to nothing. Um, Scout Report says he could be ahead of a player. And I just love the, I love the physicals. We play balls over the top and we never have the pace to run in behind. And I just feel like this guy is going to be an unbelievable asset to us. So he joins us in January uh, for an initial 125k, goes up to 425. I think it's an absolute steal, my friends. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, I, I basically jiggled the wage budget to get it done as they knocked me back for the transfer budget. Um, schedule, fixtures, however you want to say it. Let's talk about them. Um, so... It's gone a little wayward, a little wayward, but it's still good. It's still a good season. Uh, we came up against Sturm Graz and we lost. We lost the derby, unfortunately. Um, they were 2-0 up. Luca Brandstetter pulled one back, but it just was not to be. They came up against Austria Lust Lustenau, uh, a 4-0 win in this one. Kingsley with a goal. Uh, Tommy Boy with a brace and Mia with the other one. We then played our first group stage game against Dortmund and no shame in this. We only lost it by one goal to nil. Uh, Yusufa Makuku with the goal. Uh, we then came up against uh, LASK. Uh, a 3-0 win in the league here for Wayne with a brace. Tobias uh, Christensen with the other. Then we played in the cup, rotated the team really, really heavily, but we beat uh, Vaca Innsbruck by one goal to nil with a Colm Moran goal. Then we played SK Austria Klagenfurt uh, in the league, a 1 0 win. Esther Sockler with it, uh, and that brings us up to date and it keeps us going very, very nicely in the league. Uh, today we're going to play Porto and then Austria Vienna. I don't know why I clicked on the team like that, but yeah, they're the two games we're going to play, and I'm hoping. We can uh, we can get some positive stuff going on. Uh, as far as the tables are concerned, they look a little like this. As a result of that defeat to Dortmund, it is what it is. Um, we now sit third in our Champions League group stage. I really don't expect to come out of this. Um, I've looked at all the teams. I think we're going to finish dead last, unfortunately. But it's worth having a go. You can earn some good, good money in the Champions League as well, and that'll help us in the future. As far as the Bundesliga is concerned, though, it looks like this in a bit more detail. 24 points on the board. Um, yeah, um, it's unbelievable, really. It's an unbelievable start, the first nine games, and uh, couldn't get much better other than if we just didn't have that defeat. That's literally it. It's been going nicely. So anyway, let's crack on with the football, shall we? Because first up is Porto, away from home, in the Champions League. And I'm going to go defensive. And some people might think I'm bottling it a little bit here. But I used this formation against Dortmund. And we played relatively well. So I'm hoping we're going to be able to do the same again in this game. So I'm going to go with Dekic in goal. Knight and Havlik at fullback. Hajari Fredella at centre-back. Radaby, uh, Kingsley and Fulwain in the midfield. Rizzo's going to play on the left. Mia on the right. Uh, the Rizzo one might seem weird. But we've got injury problems galore on the left-hand side. Uh, Sokler is going to play up top for us. Here we go, ladies and gents. First game of today's episode, the big one, the hard game. I expect this to be very, very difficult. And uh, I've just noticed they're playing 4-4-2, which is a formation I do tend to struggle against. So um, we're going to be, we're gonna have to be very good in this. But uh, yeah, it's just showing that both Porto and Graza lost their opening game. Um, so yeah, it's there for, for Dortmund and, uh, and Celtic really, isn't it, for the taking now. Um, but yeah, let's get this underway and let's just see what we can conjure up in this game, shall we? Um, I, 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 I just take a, I take a draw. I take a, you offer me a draw right now. I take a draw. Happily, happily take a draw. These are the best of the best now that we're playing. None of this qualifying round stuff like it's been in the last few episodes. 
we've got to be very good to get past these guys. So, um, yeah, let's just see what happens. But uh, with nearly 20 minutes gone in the game and not a lot has happened, really, on paper. But Kingsley goes wide into Mia. That managed to come back to Kingsley, and it was a good pass. And then Mia unle unleashes a, a really good shot, but unfortunately just over the bar. It looks like we've packed the away end out, which is very nice to see. Really, really good to see that the support's up again for, for another season. Um, here we go. Come on. That's not bad. Oh, the keeper's got to come. The keeper's got to come. Let's get into the team a little there. Wow. And really, let's be honest, the striker's got to do better. Got away with one. Very, very much so. Um, come on. 40 minutes gone. Nearly at half time. Porto have started to step it up. They're on top. Just not much has happened. Not much happened in that first half, did it? But I'll oh, take a boring game. I'm going to tell them uh, I want a bit more, though. They've made a change at half time. Let's just deal with that. Don't need to. It's a centre midfielder. And I don't tend to close those down. Or do anything special. Not unless they're like an unbelievable goal scoring midfielder. Um, there's not much to report. I don't really know what to talk about during this game. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, Rizzo's going to have to come off. He was having an absolute torrid time, wasn't he? We'll uh, put Mia over there as an inverted winger. To be fair to Rizzo, it's not his role. Uh, you know... I Brunstetter I'm going to bring on as well. And uh, we'll see what he can bring to the party. But yeah, I kind of just threw Rizzo out there because it was like we've just got problems on the left-hand side. Um, yeah, let's just close him down. I just realised they've got Anthony Martial up top. <laughs> what? And he's having, a, having an awful game at all. Um... For Wayne, ah, he tried to tried to play him in, and uh, he's not really used his pace or even attempted to use it. But that was well defended from Hajari. Havlik now into Mia, lovely ball. Oh, but instead, just didn't have the pace. He just did not have the pace, unfortunately. And that's a ball. Oh, he's in the woodwork. We've got away with one there. I actually like the fact the keepers just cleared that out as well. And then we've been fouled. That was good play from Brandstetter once he received the ball. Wow. Um, let's just sort this out. Right, ball. Uh, me up nearly, nearly, lad. Come on, don't be lunging in in the box. Not now. Not with 15 to go. That's well well defended, though, from Kingsley. Branstetter, find that wide player. He does. Mia, he's got pace to burn, but he can't get the ball in because he's got no left foot. Oh, we've hit the post. Oh, we've hit the post. It was an incredible ball in. A good header. And it just stays out. <sighs> Come on. Keep going. Keep going, boys. Keep pushing. Not long to go. I'm going to bring Fabian Anna on to do the same role as Mia, just because of his energy levels more than anything. And we've got, we had another chance. It's gone over the bar. Two minutes added on. Two minutes added on. I'll take the point. I will never grumble at a draw in the Champions League group stage. What on earth? Great. I, I, I'm not going to grumble at it at all. But uh, yeah, we're back to league action now. Away from home against Austria Vienna. Let's see what goes down, shall we? We're going to go back to our normal formation. Decky can go. Knight and Havlik at fullback. Hajari Fredella centre back. Kingsley's going to partner. Radaby in the midfield. Uh, Tommy Boy's going to play left. Montero's going to play right. Moran through the middle. And Sokla up top. Here we go, my friends, for the second game of today's episode. Let's just see what happens, shall we? Um, I was quite impressed with our display against Porto. It does have to be said. Um, thought we played. I thought we played 
reasonably well in that one. Um, and now, though, we've just got to translate that form into the league and hopefully get a, a, get a result against Austria Vienna, who are going well this season. They're fourth in the league, 20 points on the board. Yeah, they're going all right. They're not going to be easy to beat in the slightest. Let's just uh, let's just see what happens, though, shall we? Um, I'm going to demand a little more because inside that first 25, we've seen nothing. Here we go, a free kick to the opposition. And he's gone short, and then he's got the ball in. Hmm. That looked fine to me. I, I, I'm not going to argue it. <laughs> I don't know. That looked fine to me. Oh, who knows? Who knows? We got away with one because it wasn't the best of free kicks, but we allowed them to get the ball there anyway. First half is a non-event. It really is a non-event from us. We've not done enough at all. And yes, not, not really good enough. I'm going to really hammer them at half time and hope that that, uh, that drives them on in the second half, hopefully. Radaby's energy levels are low. I'm not surprised with all the Champions League football and whatnot we've been playing. Too many passengers in this first half. I'm going to bring um, Branstetter on for Sokla and we're bringing uh, Shadani on for Tommy Boy. And uh, let's just see what they can do, shall we, in this second half. Here we go, free kick. We've got Kingsley to take it. And Kingsley to dispatch. Get in there. The big centre midfielder puts it away. We were without, we were without Christiansen at the minute. So uh, we can't use him. But it's nice to see someone else step up and, uh, and get the job done. I've just done all the marking and closing down and all the bits and bobs I like to do to the, to the substitutes. 1-0, come on, what a start to the season this has been. A few yellow cards being picked up though, that's a slight concern. Can't be dealing with any... Uh... Right, Radaby for, for Hoyland. Uh, yeah, any suspensions anytime soon. Throwing though, that's a good throwing. Oh, lovely, lovely work there to deal with that and head it away. Because that was a good throwing. That's a good ball. Havley, oh, the middle one work. We clear it out. Thank, thank the Lord that we clear it out. I thought Havley could dealt with it, but they somehow managed to get it. Unleashed a wicked shot, but it is still 1 0 as Hoyland comes wide into Montero. He received it back. We're going to use the defenders to pop this about. Moran comes wide into Montero. First time ball. Luca Branstetter with a first time finish. It's 2 0. And surely that's the three points all tied up now. Come on. Get in there. They've probably been the better team statistically. We've dominated possession, but they've had so many chances. How have they not scored? Ball. Montero. Branstetter. Oh, what a block. It was an open goal. It was an open goal and he didn't score. Okay, you, that looked like a penalty. It makes you laugh. You're going to have some of the softest challenges be penalties, and then you get one like that where he just clatters him through the back. Ooh, that was close. <sighs> Come on. Good football. Good football again. Kingsley's ball is not good. Not good at all. Hopefully this is one of those... Dead highlights where uh, the game's over. Moran. Header. Saved. Good football again, though. Really good football. They're just going to go long and hope for the best. Not going to come off. Big Hajari back there, mate. He's having none of it. He's having absolutely none of it this season. Moran. Into Shadani. Havlik. Hajari. 
Game done. Three points. Come on. And so there you have it, my friends. Um, That brings a pretty good episode to an end, doesn't it? Like, we've got a point in the Champions League, a good win against Austria Vienna to keep our hopes in the league going really, really uh, well, you know, first f- through the first 10 games as well. So, yeah, top stuff there. Um, as far as next episode, I think I'm going to do what I said. I'm going to play through these games and come back for the uh, the second Celtic game. It'll be at home as well, so I think that'll be pretty cool. And we'll partner it with the SV Reed or Ride game. Um, it just is not... I can move the season along then. Otherwise, if I do every single group stage game, we're going to be here, we're like for forever and I have you know I anticipate we're going to have to do a lot of seasons to get anywhere near the um the top of the hall of fame um and you've got to remember as well we didn't win anything last year so we're a season behind really we we really need to try and win something this season um and that's why I got to take everything really really seriously so that's what we'll do we'll come back uh for that this is how it looks as a result of today's episode. Nine wins now on the table, 27 points. Um, Red Bull Salzburg have still got to play their game in this game week. If they lose, that would be nice. And then a point is on the board in the Champions League. And that just looks glorious. So there you have it, my friends. We're done and dusted for another episode of the Hall of Famer. And a very good episode, as I've already said. If you're new around here and you're enjoying the Football Manager content, be sure to hit that subscribe button. It's the best way to support the channel. Uh, and drop a like on the video as well. The more likes I get on each and every video, the more chance there is of me reaching the wider YouTube community. But my friends, I am done for another episode of this. I salute you all. Stay safe, stay humble, and I will see you the next one.